I'm Dev, and welcome back to another Let's Make a Game in Love 2D. So let's kick it off today. Uh, today I'm going to try working on making tile maps up here and stuff. Um, and I think everything should be the same. Let's let's run the project. Everything should be the same since what we had at last. Um, yeah, all we have is just this really dopey little square. Um, what I did in between videos is I actually just created a folder named Assets, and I created an image. It's just a sprite sheet, and it has uh, some dungeon tiles right here and some grass tiles and all that. Um, and I just made that script, or drew that up real quickly. And I also made a really simple test map in Tiled. So we'll be using Tiled for this. Um, this is the map right here. Um, actually, I think I forgot to export it. So let's export it to a Lua table. Just to make things a little bit easier. No face cam today. Uh, that's due to me looking horrible right now. Um, but yeah, okay, let's save this as test right there. That should be great. Yep, okay, so, with that, let's, uh, actually I need to open back up that folder. Documents, code. Today I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, which I highly recommend to you guys. It's a really great, uh, code editor. Um, it's by the Visual Studio team. It's completely, it, it's, it's nothing like Visual Studio, though. It's completely um, open source. It can run on Linux, at, um, Mac OS, I believe. Um, it's written using uh, the uh, Electron environment. So it's, yeah, it's basically like a Chrome app, but it, it's it's different. It's really cool. Anyway, I, I like it a lot. Um, I should be able to say Control-Shift-B if I set this up correctly. At least I set it up for my last project. No, I didn't configure it. Well, we'll worry about that later. Now we can just, uh, I'll just open this in command prompt, and that's how we launch it. So, first things first. In here, let's create a new file and name it tile map. Okay, it's a little file. Now let me, let me just remember what we got. We got, so we do have a re uh, render and a game loop. Let's go to the main. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is really simple. So, another thing we're going to add up here in modules is something called assets. This is just going to be a, li a little uh, utility that's going to store all of our assets, whether it's a uh, tile map or um, quad data, images, all that stuff. I'm just going to say assets um, in it. Actually, let me check if that's what we uh, actually use. Yeah, in it. Okay. Okay, we're going to say self.assets is equal to a table. Next, we're going to say assets uh, add. If, let's make that there. Type A is equal to a table. Then do this, else do this. We're going to make it so you can pass in a table of, um, of assets. But for right now, we're just going to pass in just a regular asset, and we're going to say, Table dot ins or no, no, rather we're gonna pass in that in an ID. Now, actually, I'm gonna remove that top part. We we don't really need that for right now. Um, so we're gonna say self dot assets ID is equal to a. Then we're gonna say function assets get, and we're gonna pass in an ID right here. And we're going to assert that the file exists, or the um, asset exists. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to say error assets cannot find the asset. Oh, just a second. There we go. Can't find the asset, and then we're going to just append the ID to that. Um, if we do find it, then just return it. Just like that. And we'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, shoot, there we go. Okay, so up here, let's include it. It's in modules. Assets. I believe that's it. Where is this coming from? 
Oh, okay. I accidentally opened up Framer. Um, okay, so yeah, so that's in modules assets. Okay, so let's just run that, just make sure. Oh, I don't have that install or set up, so let's just say run.bat. Okay, so can't find can't find uh, modules assets. Why can't it find that? Modules assets.lua. Is it in a subfolder? Hold up. That's weird. Actually, I think I can say, yep, there we go. Main five. All right, just a second, I'm gonna pause. It's really strange. I didn't change anything, but now it just works. Oh, and I, I set up the task, so now I can launch it really easily. But anyway, so that that was really weird. I don't know. Um, so let's initialize the assets. Just like that. All right, perfect. So back over here. Now, what we need to do right now is actually generate quad data. So if we go back to the tile sheet over here. Uh, now, this is my other project. That's where I sampled my build command. If I go into assets and we look at sprites. Um, you'll notice that each one makes up a tiny square, right? These are all little tiles that we can use to actually draw out and make uh, sprite sheets with, or uh, tile sheets with. So what we need to do is get the quad data for each one of these tiles. And we're going to make it really easy on ourselves. So we're going to say function assets, and we're just going to generate this. Generate quads. We're going to pass in a size of the quad, like if it's 8x8 eight eight pixels or 16x16. Um, and then the image. Okay, so we're going to say local width or w is going to be equal to, uh, let's say, math.floor uh, image get width divided by size. That's how many rows of tiles there are. Now let's do the height. Get height divided by size. That's how many columns, or I, I believe so, how many columns. Next, we're going to loop through that. So we're going to say for i, or actually y, is equal to 0. We're going to start at 0. Um, go to width minus 1, and then let's just say do that. For x, or actually this needs to be height, is equal to 0. Uh, width minus 1, do. All right. Up here at the very top, let's create a little... Uh, Actually, let's pass in the ID, too. Just like that. Say local quads is equal to the table. We're going to return that table. We're also going to say self um, add. And we're going to say quads at ID. All right, so we just automatically add it to our asset pool. Right here, we're going to say table.insert quads. I say love graphics dot new quad. Here is the x and y coordinate, which would be uh, x times size, y times size. Then we're gonna say the width and height of each tile, so size, size. And then next the image height and width. So get width, image, get height. And that should generate us all of our quads that we need. So I'm just going to make this look a little better. Like so. All right. So let's actually use this. So back in main, let's go assets. Um, Game.assets. Add. We're going to add our image. So love.graphics.new image. We're going to say assets, uh, forward slash, let's see what we name it. Okay, sprites.png. And the idea, uh, the ID is going to be sprites. Just like that. All right, so now we're going to say game.assets, colon, add, uh, generate, rather, 
quads. The size of the um, of it is going to be eight pixels by eight pixels. Uh, what's next? The oh yeah, the image. So we're going to say game dot assets get going to get sprites and then the uh, ID and we're going to name it sprites underscore quads. And it's important that you name it sprites and then underscore quads if you guys are following along. So basically this ha this part has to be exact same as this part if you want to do it like I'm going to do. Um, okay, so now we have the asset assets all loaded and all that. Let's just try draw drawing that image just to make sure that it's working. So let's do love.graphics.draw uh, as uh, <laughs> game to assets get sprites we had render at zero zero build and it drew it okay so we got our image up on the screen so it, we know it loaded and all that all right let's get to uh, map loading so tile map over here we're gonna say local tile map just create a, basically a module inside here we're gonna say new equal to function this is gonna be the path that leads to the table okay so we're gonna say local map is equal to path require path rather and then return the map now right here we're gonna make a function for uh, drawing it and then actually we're gonna add it to the renderer so we're gonna say game dot renderer add renderer map let's go to renderer just to make sure that's correct yep and then we need to give it or send it to a layer so we're not going to worry about that too much right now because we can do uh foreground layers and background layers we're going to set it to layer one though for now um okay so let's just go to main let's try this out cool App is equal to require uh, scenes forward slash tile map dot new pass in the path which is assets forward slash maps forward slash test I believe yeah test run that okay we have an error message does not contain a render function okay so I I need it render, not draw. I actually like that better. Okay, perfect. So now we can start rendering our stuff. So let's actually talk about what a tile map is. So tile is really nice because it can export. Uh, let me see if I can split this. Yeah, there we go. It can export as a Lua table, meaning we, we don't have to parse anything. We have all the data that we possibly could need right here. We have all the tiles in a big map, you know, which ones correspond to which ones. We have tile data, name sprites. Now this is really important that you didn't change the name of the uh, tile sheet in the uh, tile map editor, but yeah, it gives us everything that we need. It's really, really nice. And it's all laid out and it's all in this map right here. That's all the data is in that table. So to render this, all we need to do is actually create a, uh, let's see, an image. So let's get the image. So local image is equal to um, map dot tile sets. We're only going to support one tile set. So tile sets one dot name, just like that. Let's just print image for right now. Just make sure this is all working. Yep, sprites, perfect. Okay, and that's actually going to be uh, game dot assets get. So we're going to get that. And we're just going to say assert image just to make sure we actually got the image. All right. So once we do that, we're going to get the quad data. So quads is equal to game dot assets get. Now this is going to, uh, what we're going to say right here is map that tile sets one dot name. Then we're going to append underscore quads. And if you remember back here, that's where we did it. Uh, let's see right here. All right, perfect. So let's assert that. And that'll just throw us an error and give us the general location of that error. 
All right, so now we can start actually rendering tiles. So first things first, we need to loop through all the tiles or loop through all the layers. So if we look down here, we have a table, it's called layers. And for each layer in the map, we have to loop through it. So let's just set, let's just do a for i, um, comma layer in i pairs self dot layers do. Next, we're gonna do instead of looping through since this is a one dimensional array, we actually want to loop through it like it's a two dimensional array. That way, you can find each x coordinate and y coordinate. So we're gonna say for self. Let's see. Let's actually say for layer dot width, or no, no, for y is equal to zero, comma, layer dot width minus one, do. Up here, we're going to say for x is equal to zero, layer, oh, actually I messed this one up again, layer dot height, and then layer dot width right here. Okay, so now we're going to say local ID is equal to, uh, self or let's say layer dot data you can index it at x plus y times layer dot width plus one so what this is doing is saying um find the index of the data table right here this is the data table with all the tiles at coordinate x y and we have to multiply y by the layer width so that it actually should shift it down each uh column and then we're going to add one to it because Lua indexes it um, starting at one. So if ID is not equal to zero, if it's equal to zero, then it's not a tile that we can render. It's just not, nothing's there. Now here's where we're going to actually render. Whoop. Now in the future, we're going to actually optimize this so that we only render tiles that are on the screen. We're going to optimize this to do a bunch of stuff. Also, we might add animated tile support. We'll see how crazy we want to make this, but it's all possible. Love the graphics. Draw. Pass in the image. Next, we're going to say quads at ID. And then the X and Y is going to be X times layer dot tile. No, no, actually self dot tile size. Let's look up here. Yeah, tile width, actually. Yep, okay, so we need to say tile width and tile height. And then y times self dot tile height. Okay, let's run this. Boom, okay, so we got the tile map loading. Let's look over here, actually, in tiled. Let's open this up. My computer is very slow, so there's a little heads up for you. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's the same. It's all rendering. We got the square right here and right here. Oh, in the future, we'll also make it so that during runtime, we'll be able to draw tiles, save it, export it, and it'll automatically reload over here. So that will be very useful if we want to make you know the game better, whatever. Anyway, guys, um, I think I'm going to call it there. Thanks for watching. And yeah, hopefully you found this interesting and useful. Um, in the future, we'll definitely optimize this and continue on. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.